All right, to coincide with the release of the new Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, Imperial Imperial Super Commando has got a touch up to his kit. So it says, "Hey, Hall Table Heroes, these are the changes that have been made to the Imperial Super Commando." Unique number one, upper hand. Old final text was ISC has plus 65% counter chance and gains plus 15% offense for each enemy with no buffs. The new final text is ISC has 100% counter chance and gains 15% offense for each enemy with no buffs. Additionally, whenever a dark side Mandalorian ally attacks out of turn, they deal additional true damage and recover 10% protection. Wow, that's just whenever any Mandalorian ally attacks out of turn. It's not bad. For just like a basic character, you know. Whenever Imperial Super Commando or Gar Saxon attack out of turn, their attacks, the other attacks as well, limit once per turn. That's not bad. An assist from, from your buddy when you're attacking out of turn? And even though it says limit once per turn, that's still two that you can get in like a... a, a what do you want to call it? Full round? You know? So, say ISC goes. Now Gar's going to assist. But then Gar goes out of turn. Now ISC assists. So, it's not bad. And new unique. Oh, this is just a new unique. Okay, that's cool. So, they added a whole whole new move called Super Commando Beskar Armor. New final text, which really isn't new but you know i mean it is but it's not new final text like the above one is anyways imperial super commando and gar saxon both gain plus 30 percent defense plus 50 percent critical avoidance plus 20 percent max health and plus 20 percent max protection all right the critical avoidance stuff i don't care about i think that's trash every time i have a mod that has that as the primary i just th i just sell it because i'm like i don't care about this i'm never going to use it but the defense gain and health and protection could be good. I mean, from what I understand, Gar Saxon and Imperial, Imperial Super Commando both suck right now. So this could be a decent boost to them between the defense and health and protection gains and their um, um, out of turn assists <laughs> that they can uh, be thrown out there. Plus... Um, I guess that's it. I was going to say plus the counter chance, but the counter chance is only for ISC, so never mind. Anyways, continuing on this, it also says the first time either character would be defeated each encounter, they gain damage immunity for one turn, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. That's cool. So ISC and Gar Saxon both get damage immunity for one turn. Now, how does that work, though? Because it says... Um, the first time either character would be defeated per encounter. So does that mean, like, you take a big hit, you're losing damage, and then, like, it stops at one and you have damage immunity? Or... How does that work? Because it also doesn't say, like, you die and then you get revived at X amount of health and, and or protection, and then you also gain damage immunity. It just says that the first time that you would be defeated... So, how does that work? Are you at zero health? So, technically, you are dead, but they're saving you? I don't know. Anyways, uh, the community. Nice, nice. Let's just say whenever, blah, 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 limit once per turn. What others? All allies or dark side mandos? What are you talking about? None of them. It's just them two. The other, not others. Gar Saxon and ISC attacks out of turn. ISC attacks when Gar Saxon attacks out of turn. Yeah, duh. It's not others, it's other. If SC attacks out of turn, GS attacks as well. If GS attacks out of turn, SC attacks as well. Gar Saxon and Super Commando. Long live the Empire. I read that as if one of those two, IBC or Gar Saxon, attacks out of turn, the other one also attacks out of turn. Yes, you read it the right way. People are just being dumb. Is ISC going to get the Imperial Remnant tag as well? I think so, right? 
Is this going to make the Proving Grounds battle significantly harder? Has this been tested? Make the Proving Grounds battle harder? What are you talking about? Which one's already hard that's gonna get harder now? Why would this make anything harder? Wouldn't it make it easier? No. Probably and probably not. <laughs> probably will make it harder. Probably hasn't been tested. No tags. This is so nice. I like this. Do more of this. Reworks don't always affect the PvE version of the character. I think in some events, JKA's PvE version still inflicts and exposed on himself. Tested. <laughs> if you call it Mass Assist, will both ISC and GS get an additional attack? That's different though, if it's a Mass Assist, the whole point is when they attack out of turn. Mass Assist isn't really attacking out of turn, it's coinciding with the current turn. Was he around post Empire? I know they were in Rebels, and that's going to, that's during the Empire, but I don't know if they were shown afterward. But likely no. They were meant to fit better into a Maul Mando's team than help them more and help them more. Maul Mando. Didn't Jar and Bulk Tongue Christ charged into a whole nest of them before fighting Dark Trooper Mouth Gideon? A whole nest of them? Of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Gideons. Now you're thinking of Imperial Armored Commandos. Don't any of them are actually Mandalorians. Which the Imperial Super Commandos definitely are. Will Gar Saxon receive any buffs? Yes! Some? He gets the offense up and all that. I feel like these changes will help with survival, but the offense is still rather lacking. Hopefully Gar, hoping Gar gets some changes to help address that. So, uh, that true damage hits hard. And, yep, it hits too hard. That was fast. Oh. For reference, the additional true damage was set to do two and a half times the sister's offense. Which is a lot. Enough that Maldo's starting... I mean, she started shredding some GLs. Yep, CG broke their game again. Lol, CG gonna CG. The community will be waiting for the fixes to another broken mechanic. I'm perfectly happy with true damage equal to two and a half times physical damage. Why not kill GLs with ISC? <laughs> true damage? What is true damage supposed to be, though? True damage is just damage that ignores defense, right? So, like, if it's supposed to do 100, it's going to do 100, not... Well, I would do 100, but then your defense is this, so it makes me do 75. So, yeah, I guess that would be broken, because it shouldn't be doing two and a half times physical. It should just be doing physical, basically, right? <laughs> Anyways... Man, the community comments were way longer than the actual change made to this character, but regardless... There is the Imperial Super Commando touch-up. Touch-ups are always pretty cool because, you know, it's a way to freshen up a character that's been in the game for a while and possibly make them relevant again. So this is pretty cool. That's all I got for now. So thanks for checking this out. And until next time, I said see ya.